We all know DPS is tied to graphical fidelity, and lord have mercy, your DPS is low. And let's be honest, Final Fantasy XIV isn't far off being a decade old and its graphical age is starting to show, but in 7.0 it will be getting an official facelift, of which I can't wait that long. So hey, welcome to a Final Fantasy XIV reshade guide, where I'm going to help pump up your DPS numbers and turn your Final Fantasy from this to this. Oh, look at that DPS. You can hang a flagpole off it. This will be a quick guide. I'll go over installing Reshade, reducing the impact on the HUD itself, and fixing the pesky job gauge bug, which happens when importing Keep UI from G-Shade. And because I'm so generous, I'll even share my preset. For those of you who are looking for a more natural looking preset, the install is pretty simple. Head over to reshade.me, the link's in the description. Click download, and make sure to download Reshade with full add-on support. That's the important one. Completely ignore the pop-up that says it's intended for single player. The same as you'd ignore people with clipboards flagging you down in the street. You're probably not going to get banned. It's the same as using Nvidia's Fidelity program. But I do need a disclaimer as that's what all the cool kids do. You'll be fine and the world will keep turning. Choose a place to download it to. I throw mine straight to desktop because organization scares me. Once it's finished downloading, open it and look for Final Fantasy XIV DX11. Click it and press next. Next, you'll be asked to choose between Microsoft DX9, Microsoft X10 11 12, OpenGL and Vulkan. You want to choose DirectX 10 11 12. After this, you'll be asked to select a preset to install. Your reshade should be fresh and new, so you won't have any presets, so you can just skip this part. The next step is to choose what effects you want to install. You can just click the uncheck all box at the top and check it again to select everything and press next. That's it. Reshades installed in Final Fantasy XIV. Now you can press finish. The next step, which is to fix the job gauges, having a weird glitch where they don't apply shaders and you get stuck with boxes around them, is to download an add-on for Reshade called Reshade Effect Shader Toggler Final Fantasy XIV UI only. That is an unholy mouthful. You'll find this on GitHub and I have it linked in the description for you anyway. Once you're here, click the green box that says code and in the drop down menu, click download zip. Put it wherever you want. Once it's downloaded, unzip it and open the folder, and then copy the reshade effect shader toggler.ini and reshade effect shader toggler.addon files. Go to your Final Fantasy XIV install location and in the game folder, paste these two files there. Once you've done that, it's time to open Final Fantasy XIV. As the game loads up, it'll start to compile effects and things. You'll see it at the top. Don't worry, it's not the government downloading your hard drive. Though, if that scares you, you are probably already on a list, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Once that's done, press the home key to bring up the menu. It'll give you a small tutorial at the top of the menu, but you can just press skip. Or have a look through it, I'm not your dad, so do what you want. But when you're done with the tutorial, you'll want to go to the tabs at the top and click add-ons. In the add-ons menu, you'll want to tick the box that says copy depth buffer before clear operations. After that's done, pop below and tick the box that says reshade effect shader toggler. And there, Reshade is all set up for Final Fantasy XIV, and you won't get any weird graphical issues with your job gauges, nor will you have to use the simple gauges to circumnavigate the issue. But hey, you've Reshade now. I'm proud of you. Since that's all done and it was so easy, how about we get you a preset going? You can, if you want, just download a preset from somewhere like Nexus Mods or elsewhere if you prefer, but if you want, you can use mine of which I'm going to graciously bestow upon you now. So my preset will turn the fidelity of your game from what you see here to a sharper, brighter, smoother, sexier, and more colourful image. This has a very minimal FPS hit, so you shouldn't notice any hit to your performance, but that does depend on your PC setup. Mine's a mid-range PC, so that's my only basis on that. However, for the preset, and order does matter here, as effects do layer and the look will differ and change depending on the order, so be mindful of that, and don't forget to experiment. Now, I have lowered and increased some of the effects, but you will see the numbers in my menu as we go along if you are looking for pinpoint precision. So, first up, we're using QMXAO, the Quint version. This adds a bit of shadow to areas of the image to give it a bit more depth and to make the image look less flat. Next is Clarity. This slightly brightens and sharpens the image. We're also using colourfulness to up the vibrancy of the colour, as Final Fantasy XIV is very grey when it comes to colour. It's not overly vibrant. I am also using Prod 8002 Bloom. This adds a bit of bloom to lighting. It helps lights and glows actually look like light, as it brightens up the area, so it looks like light rather than brighter colours. 
Under that, we want SMAA, which is going to help smoothen out rough edges on models and make them less blocky, as Final Fantasy XIV does tend to be blocky and pixelated at times. We're also using Smart Denoise, followed by Curves, which we'll follow up with the band. These take the colour that previous effects give us, and it matches the colours with Final Fantasy XIV's original colours, to even it all out and make it more natural, as well as removing any grain or noise from the image. We are then using Contrast Limited Sharpening. This is going to remove a lot of the blur from Final Fantasy XIV and any blur we might have added ourselves, sharpening the image up very nicely. We'll also use DPX, which does the same, plus brightens the image, as to this point, things will have gotten a lot darker, so DPX tries to match Final Fantasy XIV's original brightness levels. We're then going to use AMD Fidelity FX Contrast Adaptive Sharpening to sharpen the image further to remove the rest of the blur and make things clearer. We are adding another sharpening effect because every effect adds some form of blurring or edge smoothing, so we want to sharpen everything out to remove any further blur. And don't worry, even though it says AMD, it doesn't matter what graphics card you're using. I myself am using an NVIDIA card, it's just the name of the sharpening effect. I'm assuming it's supposed to do something similar to what AMD's does. And finally, ambient light. To make light seem a bit more natural in how it lights the area and how it lights character models and such, so we seem to be a part of the scene rather than just moving through it. All these effects are available to you if you check all the boxes when installing Reshade. You know, assuming you didn't fall asleep at the beginning, in which case you should rewatch the video, as you missed the part where I ascended to Godhood and slayed the Jabberwocky. What I may do is make this preset downloadable through my Discord to see if that helps people out, make things a little bit easier, make it more accessible. And so I don't forget my own preset when I decide to fiddle with the settings. I'll throw a link to my Discord down below. I'd assume you're down there already liking the video and pressing the subscribe button because you're fantastic like that. If you have any questions or suggestions or want to share your own presets, do so in the comments, help everybody out. If you're a star for MMO content or just miss my voice, you can find me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash dyinglegacy. I stream three times a week where I mainly rant and ramble about things that don't matter to anyone while I play MMOs and things. The link's in the description. You've been lovely and I miss you already, but the video's over so you can leave now. Thanks for watching, take care of yourselves and keep being awesome.